Welcome to today's class. Today we're making chocolate chip cookies, the kind from Doubletree in Hilton. Um, this is the Double Tree recipe. So for those who haven't been to the Double Tree Hilton, when you go and check in, they have hot cookies, depending on what time you're, you check in, hot or cold, waiting for you at check-in. And it's just a little extra nice touch that is there. Um, and when we were kids, and maybe when we were adults, we would go get extra cookies all the time. I thought I would do this and I'm going to show you how to do some substitutions if you don't have all the ingredients. I don't have walnuts, so this recipe calls for walnuts, but I'm using pecans. And I had to actually, I to pre-toasted my pecans, so I had to do that twice because I pre-toasted them and when I came back in the kitchen, half of them were missing and were eaten. So I had to go toast some more. So um, what we'll do first is I'm going to be making, um, instead of using an egg, I'm going to be making a flax egg. So those of you who haven't made a flax egg, I'm going to show you how to do it right here. Um, you can do it for any recipe. Sometimes it changes the flavor a little bit just depending on what the recipe is. Um, because you, you do get a little bit of that nice fibrous uh, flavor in there. I'm gonna start with the egg because it takes a little while to gel. So what we'll do first is, um, this recipe calls for one egg. So I have flax meal here and I'll put it in a spoon. I'm gonna take one tablespoon of the flax meal, just level it off, okay? This is what it looks like. And we're just gonna pour this into any bowl that you have and then take two to three tablespoons of water I'm gonna use two I used three last time it was a little it took a little while to gel up so I'm gonna use two this time just looks pretty liquidy right now but when we come back to it in about five minutes it'll be more gooey and more like an egg consistency okay so that is there so this is a half of the recipe so if you're doing the full recipe you'll just double it and you'll use the exact recipe that is online I'm gonna take a quarter pound of butter which is one stick of butter if you have a stick what we're gonna do is we're gonna cream the butter and sugars first. So I'm gonna put the butter in. And I'm using a mixer um, right now. You can use a mixer, you can use your hand, you can do um, a stand mixer or the ones where you just plug them in and use a regular bowl. And when you're making cookies or any baked goods, it's important not to over mix or under mix. And I'm gonna, we're gonna to get to some areas with that um, there's some, there's some times when you want to mix quite a bit and sometimes when you don't want to mix a lot. So here's the white sugar. So half of it is three eighths plus one table, plus half a tablespoon of the white sugar. And then for the brown sugar, we're going to do three eighths again. I didn't take this out ahead of time because it gets hard. And I have my little bear in here. You can get a bear at any um, store and um, basically it's in the baking section. They come in different cute little designs too. Yeah, so you just put this in here and it keeps it soft. If you don't want to go to the store, your stores are closed that sell this, you can put a piece of bread in and it'll soften the brown sugar. So for the brown sugar, we're gonna do three eighths of a, uh, a cup. So I have my one eighth scoop here. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to cream this together. So, uh, and it's gonna be on for about two minutes because you want it to get really nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna lock this on this side and I'm gonna do it on medium. So you want this nice and fluffy and that'll give a, a nice texture to the cookie when we make it. So it's starting to get fluffy and the color's a little bit lighter and I'll just show you. So it just looks like that. Okay, nice and fluffy. There we go. 
So I'll put that down here. Lock that on again. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to add in our wet ingredients. So I'm gonna add in um, my vanilla. So since I'm halving the recipe, it's just half a teaspoon plus an eighth. Okay, so we have our vanilla. We're gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of lemon juice. So we have an eighth of lemon juice and that's just an acid to brighten the flavor. And then we want to add our egg in. So this is my flax egg. Oh, it got nice and gooey, see? See how it's kind of like eggy now? Before it was very liquidy. I just want to show you my toasted pecans while this is mixing. I toasted them because the flavor is so much nicer when they're toasted. So I, what I did is I just put them on a little tray in the toaster oven and I put it on toast on like the second level, a little bit lower than what I would put my toast on and it just brings out the flavor a little bit more. It makes such a difference when you toast the mess. Our next ingredients are we have a cup of flour one cup of flour plus an eighth okay and just shake off the remaining Let's try and get it even so there's the cup of flour okay you can't add this when it's moving that's fine but uh, I'm just gonna add it now so it's a little bit quieter plus one eighth so I have this of the cup is right here. Okay. Add that in. So quarter cup of oats and we'll just put this right in here. Okay and you can always get this on our website as well on urbanhippiegranola.com. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. This is also very good to clean your sinks. <laughs> If you ever put, uh, if you want a good scrub, so half a teaspoon of salt, regular cinnamon that you buy in the store. Um, okay, so next what we will do is we're just gonna put this on low for 45 seconds. Show you what it looks like. This is our nice sticky batter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just add in our nuts and our chocolate chips. If you don't like nuts, leave them out. So I have the chocolate chips. This is a lot of chocolate chips. It's more than I would normally put in, but that's what the recipe calls for. So we're just going to do it. Chocolate chips. And for those just joining, I'm using pecans instead of walnuts because I don't have walnuts. And I'm just going to break them up a bit. They're pre-toasted which isn't necessary, but it's something I always like to do. So it's gonna kind of crumple them in. So you're gonna to wanna to line your pan with a baking sheet, uh, sorry, uh, parchment paper, or you can use the silicone, but however, when you use silicone and parchment paper, you get different textures of your cookie. So some might be softer, it might be a little bit um, darker on the bottom or lighter. So I'm using the parchment paper. And what you'll do is you want three tablespoons worth of the cookie. So I'm gonna use this ice cream scooper because it's fun. And um, it's about three tablespoons. So what you'll do is you'll scoop. And this is a great way if you're making muffins too and you want everything to be the same size, you can just use a scooper. Oh, let me just show you. Just kind of scoop it down the middle and slide it against the edge. And then you'll take the scooper and you'll just kind of and you want them two inches apart each cookie so there we go oh and we're gonna flatten them so I'll flatten them first and then you want them two inches apart so I'll probably do about six on a cook cookie sheet
And if you don't want all your cookies right now, just freeze the rest of your dough. You can even make the shape like this and freeze it like this in the freezer and then you can just take out a cookie, one cookie at a time and cook it in your toaster oven or cook it in your oven just that day when you feel like it. I mean, how good does that look already? So to cook them, we're gonna bake them for 300, at 300 degrees for 20 to 23 minutes and you want the edges golden and the center soft. And then you wanna wait for one hour to let it cool before you eat them. What kind of instructions are that? Who can wait an hour? I'm probably gonna try one after it's cool about 10 minutes and then do the hour and see what the difference is, why you need to wait an hour, because how many of you are gonna wait an hour? I think nobody is gonna wait an hour. If you guys have any questions, let me know and or write them in the comments as you're doing this or as you're preparing them. And I'll be happy to answer them and if I can. And enjoy your cookies. I'll see y'all later.